In this video, I will be using group policy to configure auto logon on a client machine. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see a few notes about this method. The first one is that we need a user with a password for auto logon to work. And also the password will be stored in Windows registry as plain text. So this method is not very secure, so keep that in mind if you're trying to use it in a production environment. And now to create this policy, I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment and I will be creating the policy on this server. So I will go to Tools, Group Policy Management. Then I will expand Group Policy Objects. I will right-click on Group Policy Objects and select New. Here I will name the policy to Auto Logon. Then I will click OK. I will select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select edit. Here we want to go to computer configuration, preferences, Windows settings and let's click on registry. And here we need to create four registry items. So let's click, right click here, go to new and select registry item. For all the four items we need to select action as update and for the high we can leave it at local machine. Now for all other values, for example keypath, I will be using all the values that I have here in my GitHub page. So let's copy the keypath. As you can see, the keypath will be the same for all the items. Next, we need a value name. And the first one is auto admin logon. And this is to enable the auto logon feature on the computer. So let's copy it from there and insert it here. Value type needs to be rexyz and then value data needs to be one. 1 is to enable and 0 is to disable this feature. Now let's click apply and ok because we are done with this item. And because the three other items will be almost the same, we can right click on this, select copy and insert it back in here. As you can see now we have a duplicate. Let's open one of them and here we need to change only the value name and value data. So let's go back to the GitHub page and the first value name will be default username. Here we want to provide the username of the user uh, that needs to auto log on to the computer. In this case, the user will be John. And let's click apply and OK because we are done here. And let's create another duplicate, open it, and then the next value name is default password. And this is the password for the John user. And in this case, it's password 55 and sharp. And that's it. Apply and OK. And the last duplicate that we need to create. And this is for providing the default domain name. In this case, in my case, I mean the default domain name is ad. Dot, let's do automation. Dot com. And that's it. We can click apply and OK for the last time. And we can close this window. Now for the security filtering, because I want to deploy it only on a single computer, I will remove authenticated users. And I will be adding the client uh, on which I want to deploy this policy. So in this case it's client01, check for names, as you can see detected it, let's click OK. And as you can see the computer up appeared in here. Now let's go to details and for GPO status I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy only has computer settings in it. And after creating the policy we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the policy. In my case the organization unit will be this one, it's called computers and it is holding all the computers in my domain. So to assign the policy I will click and drag and drop the policy on this organization unit and as you can see the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And now to test this policy I will go to my client01 computer that I have here. As you can see it is already signed in the journal account but if I would restart the computer without the policy it would ask John to log in again. So let's do a GP update just to be sure that everything will be updated. And then let's restart this computer and let's see what's going to happen. And the policy update is almost done. And now I will restart by typing shutdown minus r minus t0. Press enter and let's see what's going to happen.
And as you can see after restarting the computer didn't ask me to sign in and that's because it has John's credentials in the registry. And that means that the policy that I created for autologon is working just fine. And now I will show you how to disable autologon by modifying the same policy that I used to enable it. And for that I will go back to my server. First I will rename the policy that I created before from autologon to disable autologon. Then let's right click on it, select edit. Once again we need to go to computer configuration, preferences, window settings and click on registry. First let's disable autologon by clicking on the item that is responsible for enabling it and that's auto admin logon. Here we only need to change the value data from 1 to 0, click apply and OK. And next we need to remove all three values that you see here. So first it's the default domain, so let's remove the value from here, click apply and OK. Next is the password, remove it, apply OK. And the last one is the username. And now we have one registry item with the value 0 and then three of them are without any values. We can close this window, go back to the client machine because the policy is already assigned. And now we can update the policy once again. So let's do a GP update and wait a bit. And as you can see the policy update was successful so now we can restart the computer and let's see what's going to happen. So shut down minus R minus T0, press enter and let's wait for the last time. And as you can see this time after restarting the computer is asking us to sign in. And that means that the autologon feature is currently disabled. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.